hey guys welcome back to another video and uh, today we are here for the game monster hunter and uh, i know you people are facing issues such as crashing and uh, black screen so yeah this video will help you resolve the issues in the first step you need to go to the search bar and type defrag and uh, here you can see the very first option defragment just click on this option and uh, a dialog box will pop up and here you have to select that particular drive in which your game is installed and click on the option optimize this will optimize your drive and defragment all the fragments and will put many pieces back in place and uh, sometimes the case is that a, a single file a very small piece of file gets misplaced defragmentation puts uh, each and every file in back to place so yeah defragmentation proves to be very helpful and most of the times resolves the issue on its own another thing you can do is go to the microsoft store for that you need to simply search store in the search bar and uh, click on store and it will open up and uh, search for your game monster hunter and uh, okay this is my other account i have the game on my other account so the thing you simply have to do is you will get an option verify right here and uh, click on the option this will verify all the files present in your game wherever your game is located it will do it automatically if there will be any files misplaced or not found store will automatically download or replace them or maybe in some cases you will be asked to uninstall and install the game again in the next step you need to go to the file explorer in the file explorer we are gonna delete the temporary files present inside the microsoft store so firstly open the file explorer and then you need to go to the c drive <clears throat> and here search for the folder users open up and uh, click on the your pc's name and now open the app data folder then local now here you need to search for the option packages right here now i'm gonna show you the file you exactly need to search for just wait a second do ensure that the file you are opening is exactly the same please check each letter and open up the folder now in this folder we need to go to the subfolder which is local cache and here we can find the temporary files present in the microsoft so store app we do need to delete these select this folder and permanently delete it and uh, now my most favorite step which most of the time works for me is setting your application's priority to a higher level for that you need to open the task manager and set it to full screen and now go to the details tab i am showing you discord as an example you have to right click on any application that you want as a high priority for your cpu and right click on it and uh, now se select the option set priority and set it to high this will force your cpu to work more efficiently on your application a very crucial step where you have to search for run in the start bar and uh, open it up and type a command percentage temp percentage and enter and uh, it opens up the folder of temporary cache files select all the files and permanently delete them and uh, i've also heard people speaking about the game mode either positive or negative ways couple of people say that it uh, really boosted their fps and couple of people say that it causes the games to crash so i suggest if you have the game mode on you turn it off and restart your pc and try again to launch the game and for the people who have turned it off already i suggest them to turn it on and give it a try